Well, this morning I'm off to City Concours, which is an event held in the central London at the Honourable Artillery Club. And my Murcielago won best in class in there last year. So the organisers have sent some complimentary tickets, which is very kind and very good. And so I'm off to London and I'm going to check out a display of mirrors um, that are there. So every variant of the Mura is going to be on display. So it's rare to see all the different variants of the Mura on display. And I look forward to just learning a bit more about that particular Lamborghini. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So I've arrived at City Concord and I always get a little bit lost, I don't know why, but um, yeah, got here so let's have a little look and see whether we can find this mirror exhibition. and it is really good. I'm just going to go through each of these mirrors and have a look at them and find out a bit more about them. So the first mirror I've got behind me is the P400. So this is the first ever mirror and the mirror was produced between 1966 to 1973 and 764 units were made. Now the P stands for posteriore. Now that means that the engine is at the back but it's also the first ever mid-engined car ever produced where the engine lies in front of the rear axle. So the mirror was an incredible car and as the cars um, progressed from the Kuntash onwards, the engine, instead of it being transverse, was made to be longitudinal. But because the engine was still at the back, the term longitudinal posteriore was then adopted by Lamborghini. So this is really good to see this car. Um, so the next mirror I've got behind me is the Mura P400S and the S stands for Special Edition and this car had a couple of other features such as air conditioning, a couple of other creature comforts and just became a little bit more refined. And this is a really lovely, really classic kind of Lamborghini colour. I think this is the colour that the, the Mura was first debuted in um, because it debuted at Turin with just the chassis 
and then when they debuted it at Geneva they had the bodywork but they didn't have the engine and so they put ballast at the front and didn't let any journalist have a look at look inside and despite that they still managed to get orders unbelievable um, buying a car without an engine brilliant Lamborghini genius absolute genius so this next mirror behind me is very special this is the SV version and the SV version stands for Super Veloce. The interesting thing about this car, if you look at the headlamps, the eyelashes have been removed and also the car itself is much more refined. The SV versions are special because in the original Miura, the engine and gearbox oil was all one system. That meant that when you changed your engine oil, you had to change your gearbox oil. Now that's not great and there was always a worry that when you had problems with the gearbox, all your metal shavings and ends would end up in the engine and destroy the engine. So this car was really good because it separated the fluids out. Um, the interesting thing, the Mura is also that kind of design with the engine and the gearbox linked as one came from the Morris Mini, um, which also had a transverse engine mounted directly to the gearbox. So interesting how Lamborghini pick up ideas and then just take them to the next level um, but the SV is a fantastic car and so this next mirror behind me is the Mura Jota now there's a little bit of controversy I thought there was only one Jota that was ever made and it got crashed and then they made a, rec a recreation of it and then after that there were um, modifications of SVs to form SVJs uh, by the Merman brothers, I think they were one of the original ones. Um, and I think Nicolas Cage owned an SVJ version of the Mura and then sold it on. But it's interesting seeing this because this version doesn't have the bumper extensions that I thought the original um, Jota version of the Mura did have. So this car was heavily developed by Bob Wallace to be a much more racing orientated version of the Mura and uh, Bob Wallace was the first ever Lamborghini test driver so incredible now this charming lady owner behind me of this Mura has invited me to sit in the car so here I go I'm gonna sit this is my first time I've ever sat in a Mura Thank you. I've just asked a really, really dumb question, how to get in. So this button, I'm going to... Oh, thank you so much. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, wow. Let me just take this interior in. Oh, look at the seats. I love this design here. God. I just didn't realize there's nothing there. It's just, uh, that is so clever. Oh, wow. Okay, here I go. Let me just... Uh... Yes, I'm sure it did. They had to, they, they gave me two. Well, I'm sitting in a Lamborghini Miura and I can tell you now, it is a special place. Absolutely incredible. It smells of leather in here. It's so rich, the smell. Oh, wow. And look at this. There's the gated shifter. Oh, wow. The materials feel great. And the dials, absolutely incredible. And look at the steering wheel. It's just literally just I can't even put the camera far away enough because it's it's right there between your knees this is absolutely brilliant but the view oh my gosh the view is just incredible what a treat what a treat oh it's amazing absolutely amazing this is a Lamborghini wow it's made my day She's the newer owner and she's allowed me to sit in her car and it's just made my year. 
<laughs> it's, it's my pleasure. Absolutely. And so thanks, and Jane, um, you're based in Worcestershire, and I'm going to check out your car storage facility, and it's just Please brilliant. Do. Yeah. Please but do. thank you so much. You've really made my afternoon. Uh, it's just brilliant. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. So that concludes my tour of the Muras and visiting this exhibition. I, I just hope you enjoyed it. I'm not, a, you know, I'm learning about the Mura and I just find this car romantic, historical. It just really does make me well up how brilliant this car is. And to see so many Muras in one place, I mean, I don't think I'll ever see so many in one place ever again. So thank you very much and thank you so much to Jane for allowing me to sit in this wonderful mirror behind me. Brilliant, brilliant day. Take care and I look forward to seeing you on some of my other videos.